my last question is going to be about we we opened with a discussion of molecular testing and potentially broad testing. I think that whether we ask for it or for whatever reason, it's maybe happening now or is soon to happen more. And so uh, the question is, what if you get a result back that shows an ALK rearrangement, ROS1 or one of the other targets, RET, where we've got really good data in stage four, but we don't have data yet for uh, for early stage and resected patients. Uh, are you inclined in any way to extrapolate what we've learned from EGFR in an, with the thought that we may never have good data on this? Or are you inclined to say, look, we don't have good data on this and uh, you know this is expensive and potentially has side effects and so we should really stick to where the data are. Uh, I'll, I'll go in reverse order of last time and start with you, Estella. Um, so there are there are very good trials ongoing to answer the question. You know, Agarra is going to open, and um, and there's a trial with ALK. So, but we don't have those trials, and some of our patients don't have the luxury to wait. So, what I tell patients is that you know chemotherapy can work in your mutation. Um, we have, we're thinking of an adjuvant approach, um, and we're going to monitor you very closely. Um, that's what I tell patients. I have patients that our clinical trial, we have requested compassionate use of drug. And I explained to them, I don't, we have not finished the alchemist trial. We have not really learned about how long will you have to take this targeted therapy in the adjuvant or you know, adjuvant setting. Excellent. Uh, Nargis, thoughts here? I think it's to be determined. I'm more afraid of patients being harmed for unnecessary treatment because then we're, you know, treating these patients like a stage that they don't have. And these drugs are ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a month. So are you really benefit? Like this swelling in your legs? Is this worth for unknown data? I don't, I, I don't think, you know, I would take a pill uh, for something that is just hypothesizing and a white bore uh, when it's bringing financial, physical, and emotional harm to our patients. Rias, what are your thoughts here? Different, different culture, I think, maybe different mindset about extrapolating. But you tell me, what, what are your? Oh no, def definitely agree with what's been said. I mean, I would never, I would go out of my way to reassure a patient with early stage disease that they didn't need to, um, um, you know, start going onto stage four management pathways. I think that's really, really important. But I do think there are nuances. So, for example. You know, EGFR ALK. You you would you would you know obviously steer away from any immunotherapy is generally what I would suggest. Um, and I think the 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 way you screen patients afterwards. You know, if you've got a patient who's got stage three disease, you know they've got a high risk of relapse. You find they've got an ALK fusion. Uh, you know, you might slightly change how you monitor those patients. You might scan them more frequently in the surveillance part of. Once they've completed their definitive treatment, you may image the brain more frequently. There are little nuances. So it's good information to have uh, because it, it gives you, you know, it, knowledge is power, I say. And the more you know about a patient's cancer, the more uh, you can tailor treatment for that person. Uh, but yeah, as a, I, I don't think it's appropriate to be giving stage four treatment in early stage disease without data. Mm -hmm.